Okay, two things. I realized in every single video that I've done so far, I'm wearing black, so cut my fingers, I have an orange band-aid, orange shirt today. I'm gonna change it up. Two, also, as if I didn't have enough gear, this. The Mavic Mini, I bought it used from a friend, just to help with the vlogs. This thing is so small, and it kind of gets torn up by the wind when you're out, but I will say, I've only had it for a couple days now, so I've only picked it up maybe, I think two times, two or three times. So here is some of that test footage that will look really good in these now. thing I want to talk about today, a big part of being a photographer in the marketing is having a portfolio. Now there's two routes that you can go. You can go digital or you could go print. I've done both of them for portfolio meetings. I want to talk about the pros and cons for each. Uh, I think it applies to wedding photographers, commercial photographers, you know, whatever genre you're in that you need to sell. Uh, I think this is important. If you're a director and a filmmaker, obviously print portfolio is not going to work. So, so first let's talk about the going the iPad or the digital route for your portfolio. I use the Squarespace app because I host my site on Squarespace. So first let's talk about the pros. The pros are, it's not that expensive. If you can get an iPad mini or maybe an iPad, maybe not the iPad Pro, maybe something in between. Like I have one of the older gen iPads and it works great. Um, you know, three or four hundred dollars compared to probably over a thousand to actually get your uh, custom print. This is a really great option. It's a little less of a high price point. It's still a high price point, but not as much as doing a custom print portfolio. So I think this is a really good entry way to do it. Other thing as well, this is really easy to update and manage. So if I have a new work or a new body work, I throw it on my Squarespace site and then I can upload it to this. Basically syncs it to the iPad so that I can quickly go in, click the portfolio that I want to show and swipe right through, right? The other option that I've noticed that I've heard from other people, especially for uh, beauty work, especially like beauty photographers and fashion photographers, is the ability to zoom in because something, like let's take an image like this, right? You'd be able to zoom in and see the skin and the texture and whatnot, especially for jewelry, beauty. Uh, they wanna see your retouching and how well you do it. The cons of the iPad is everybody does it. It is easy to do. A lot of people just use iPads. It's kind of the go-to now. You know, at the end of the day, it is about your work, but just realize that this is something that a lot of people do. Um, so it's really up to you. So next, let's talk about the custom print portfolios. I got this made by Mullenberg Designs. He actually sent me a bunch of samples for, oh, here's what you can do on the outside. Here's what you can do on the inside. It's kind of an outside insert thing. And then they put my name on it in the front and made it look really beautiful. So the pros about this is it is custom. You can get it however you like. You can get it whatever size, whatever shape, I think, if you want to go really custom. Handing this to a client saying, hey, look at my work. And they get to sit and experience the work one at a time is where digitally there's bam, 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 gone right through, right? So with the print, they're, they're taking their time, they're looking through it, they're spending time with the images, they're asking questions. It kind of slows down the process. Another thing as well is, is spending time with a really good printer and getting paper that you like and making these beautiful prints. I, you know, everything's digital today, so I think maybe we forgot a little bit about print. Again, in the advertising world, if that's what you're gonna wanna get into, seeing things in print for them, especially art buyers and art directors, is really powerful because the work is gonna go in print. So they wanna know. How does your work translate to print? So I think that is another pro. I absolutely love it. But with that said, here are the cons for this. This is really expensive. I think this cost over a thousand dollars just to make the outside and the, the cover. And then it was another four or 500 to get printed. Very expensive to update. When it comes to an iPad, you can just upload your images, be on your way. With this, you have to design it, you have to send it to the printing, they'll send you proofs, you'll get it. It doesn't take a lot of time, but you also have to provide the paper usually. It's a couple hundred bucks every time you wanna upgrade it. Let's say you have a shoot that you're really excited about and you have a meeting tomorrow. You can't update that and do that here, right? So this is a little bit of a setback. The other thing as well, I kinda got a clunky like thing to put it in a case. Uh, I flew to New York to do meetings. It's kind of a pain to fly with. An iPad, you can just throw in your backpack, boom, here you go. Uh, this is kind of a, this is a big thing. You gotta fly with this. 
it's an extra carry-on item, but you probably want to bring it with you because you don't want to get it lost if this is the only thing you're showing. Um, so again, kind of a pain if you got to travel. But here's kind of the combo that I went in with. So this is a portfolio that I'll update once a year or so. If you update this once a year, you have this beautiful kind of your set work. These are the icons of what I'm trying to become and what I'm trying to do. Uh, so you can have this, right? And then the iPad, you can have supplementary imagery. And what I mean by that for me, okay, let's say I'm going to a client who does a lifestyle. I can pull specific shoots and say, hey, I think, uh, I know you guys have this client. Uh, I have this shoot that applies to what you're doing or a client that you have, let me show you that. So this is kind of like, this is round one, this is round two. So I think using the both of them together can be very powerful. You have your main body of work and then you have work that you can change up and move around because of the client that you're gonna meet with. Again, this is just food for thought. Let me know what you use. Do you use print, do you use digital? And then the last thing, this is kind of like a side tip that I realized is either have leave behinds or have personal work that I made a while ago. That is a little print book. I send it out as a promo, but what I'll do at the end of the meeting, hey, I have these, do you want them? You can give it to them. So I take the portfolios with me. They have something that they can remember you by. You know, they probably meet with a bunch of photographers, but this is a book I made two years ago called Tokyo Wallflower, which is a personal project that I did in Japan and made it into a little book. And what this was was, hey, cool, here's my commercial work. But then this is the work that I really, really care about. This is what I do in my free time that nobody sees or that I'm not getting paid for, you know? So having, hey, this is my personal work or this is a little project that I did on the side that has meaning or has a point of view. This is really interesting because a lot of art directors and art buyers are fans of photography. So they wanna see stuff like this. We'll get into personal projects in another video, but I think this is really important. So please comment down below, do you use print? Do you use digital portfolios? Do you just use a website? I would love to start a conversation because this could help so many people. I have a lot of fun doing these, so I appreciate you guys watching. All right, so we'll do some more. Peace.